Hey, what's up? I'm Goran. This is first, worst, best, and last. So it was uh, the first show, let's see. The first show that, that I played with the band was around 88. And at that time, we were China Cat Sunflower. Um, which we, which I didn't know, or maybe I did. It was a Grateful Dead song. So we played the Unicorn, which back in the day was right downtown, and uh, it was where a lot of like punk rock bands would come. Actually, I think Nirvana. So we would play there as China Cat Sunflower, and we had all these people coming, wanting to hear Grateful Dead songs. So <laughs> we changed our name to the Guffs, because um, we were watching a movie called The Seventh Sign in our dorm room at UWM. Um, getting a little high. All of a sudden, Demi Moore starts talking about the guff, which is where our souls are. Um, we're like, the guffs, that's our name. So, it became the guffs in 88, and then we played the unicorn, and we would pack it underground, coolest punk scene in town, and we were there playing our melodic girl rock. <laughs> so we're on, um, let's see, we're supporting our first Atlantic record, which was the Guffs. Um, that's when we had Smile on the radio, Crash on the radio, and our booking agent set us on a tour and thought it'd be cool if one of the stops was something called Larry's Stock. And it was somewhere up in Michigan. And we're like, okay. We're, you know, in a van, just driving from show to show. And we get there, and it was a hippie festival. So I don't know if you guys know the Guffs, but the Guffs music is not hippie. It's not rusted roof. It's not, you know, jam music. We're kind of melodic, alt, rock, pop. And uh, we get there, and it's a bunch of hippies, and God bless them, they're beautiful people. So it starts raining, and we go on stage and decide <laughs> to play Listen to the Trees for about 20 minutes, which is our jam song, if you know the Guffs. It's the song that we just, you know, kind of feels like it could be a hippie song. So we jam that for about, like, 20 minutes, and I remember... As it's raining and we're there, the entire crowd just starts moving, <laughs> moving away from the stage. So basically, we're up on stage at Larry Stock playing "Listen to the Trees" and there's nobody in the fucking audience. I got two. It was '95. Smile was a hit. Uh, WLUM was playing the heck out of it, and we got to play their big festival. Um, so walking on stage and playing the Marcus Amphitheater in front of 25,000 people um, and having the whole crowd know, smile, and crash, that was pretty cool. Um, the other best show was when we uh, had our Atlantic debut record release at the Riverside. And, uh, it was a sold out show at the Riverside and we walked on stage and played to a sold out show. It was like the best feeling in the world, so those would probably be the best, the best show. The last show that I would ever play. If it was for me, personally, um, playing solo stuff, playing Gordon stuff, it'd be me, like, in some fan's living room with 20 of the diehard Guffs fans just sitting around listening to me play some songs with my acoustic guitar. I think that'd be actually a good way to go out. Um, if it was with the Guffs, you know, maybe we play the Paps Theater one last time, sell it out, rock it out, let the curtain kind of drop. So it's been a fun ride.